SGC here, and we are back for Final Impression, Kim's Convenience, Season 1. Okay, okay, okay. I changed my lens on how I view this. I wanted to give it another real chance, so I actually continued with Episode 2 a while back, and I finished the whole season, and I am impressed. I would definitely say I was more pig-headed in a sense to just be like, no, this is this is this is not real, blah blah blah. But but I realized that Jenny, I realized that Janet is sort of not me in a sense where she doesn't know how to speak Korean, so she's more of someone that grew up here. So I am actually satisfied with her conversations with Oma Appa being in English, and when Oma Appa speak to one another. That's more of a logistic, practicality sense that I'm just gonna narratively, I'm gonna say narratively they're speaking Korean to each other, but for audience sake, they're speaking English and for jokes. So that really helped in terms of accepting the fact that they don't speak Korean too much, and I enjoyed it. I really enjoy this family of just using the convenience store and just the stuff that they have to go through. We got Jung and Appa's like relationship. Granted, I really still bugs me that Upper Amma don't have a real name. But just, yeah, this is a great family, and then they're just really trying to be a family, and just the arcs that go through. We got, we got Jung and Kimchi sort of like brother relationship of Jung moving up in the car rental place, and then, and then we got Jung and Shannon, and that weird thing. Sort of wish the end didn't have a boyfriend, where I just sort of this awkward relationship sort of goes into season two. But overall, I mean, there's so much stuff be still done. I mean, I love how Appa and that Indian, Appa and that Indian dude conversations, really great fun. And then we got Mr. Chin, I think that's his name. And yeah, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Now, would you ask me, will I give Fresh Off the Boat another chance? I don't know. If it goes on Netflix, I'll be more inclined. But overall, I enjoy sort of the family, the stuff that Janet has to go through, the stuff that everyone else had to go through, and the, the church aspect of it, about how Amma has to like really try to, not really try to prove herself, but she's just really trying to do a good job, and there's always someone trying to just make her look bad kind of thing, but it's just like this family. I really enjoy that. Can't wait to check out season two. Wonder if season three is dropping soon. But overall, yeah, I mean, am I retracting what I said in my first impression? I think so, in a sense, as in I'm giving this a chance. And I felt like first impression, I wasn't totally shut off. I just didn't bother continuing with the season, but I did. And I enjoy it. And granted, I wish that there was more foreign languages spoken. I mean... If we get a Japanese cast in season three, that would be amazing. I don't know what they're doing with up a sort of like hate for Japanese arc, but it would be great fun if season three we get a Japanese main cast show up and then they just have to work out the differences. That would be an interesting thing to see. But overall, I enjoyed it for what it is. They tried, I watched, and that is all for this final impression for Kim's Convenience season one. Out.